2017 Chevy Silverado. This is the radiator shutter assembly. Um, these things are going to open and close according to what the computer wants it to do to give you better gas mileage. Mine froze up. And I had the check engine light come on. Went into the shop. They told me what I needed. The part's about a $200 part. The repair, depending on where you go, is another $200, $250. Um, so in order to get this out, so to get these out, they've got a little... dip on the one side so you can get your tool underneath there if you want to do this when it's warmer out if you try popping these things off if you're outside and it's 20 degrees outside you chance you might break these things so that'd be the thing I'd be careful so once you take all those out of mine there was about 12 of those clips that whole piece will just lift off and then you need to get your your front grill your front grill has one two three four bolts that are going to be on there 10 millimeter bolts pull those off and then once you have those off you still have the they call them quick clips there's going to be one here Another one down here, one, two, three, four on the bottom, and then two more on this side, and there are two in the middle. So the best to, to get those out, if you get a long wrench or a crowbar fits right into this little opening, and that gets you down to the, pretty close to the first clip, and then you can pry it out. And I'll just show you on the top here. See how that little round button is in that hole? So if I'm going to take this off, you put one hand underneath and then put the other hand behind here. You're able to lift it up. See how that clip is out now? And then to get the actual part off here, there's three bolts on each side. And then there's one, two, three, four in the middle. So now we're up to 10. And then one, two, three bolts on the bottom. So that's the new shutter assembly. You can see the three holes there, three on the bottom, three on the side, and the four other holes. And then there is a clip right here. And there's going to be one more clip on the bottom right there. So that's really all there is for this replacement. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the existing one, um, it is a plastic piece, so it's not it's not made out of metal, so it's really light. Um, I bought mine online, only took a couple days to get here, maybe three at the most. So it really doesn't take long for it to ship and doesn't weigh very much, so the shipping was like $6, so it's super cheap. So to take the battery and unplug that while you're working on the electrical on the 2017 Silverado. You have to pop the clips on this little cover and pull that out. There's just two little clips.
couple on each side. So now you have access to the battery cables. So just unplug those and that'll let your system reset too. So hopefully it'll clear out the the engine issue. If that doesn't work, take it back to a to a mechanic or a dealer and have them reset it for you. So this upper electrical, there's a little red clip. Seems like the little white clip on there. When this is pushed together, you will need to use a that notch right there. You have to get that plastic piece up over the top of that and then pull that out. So that's how you remove the top one. So we got both of these out. And this end would appear to connect onto that little piece there. So we're gonna have to take this piece off here, then remove this, connect it into this hole. I'm guessing that's gonna be the sensor that just allows, pushes the air into that so it senses the temperature. And that's gonna connect all the way through and this is what makes it open and closed. So, we're hoping that they sent me a good part even though this little end seems to be missing here so I'm hoping that I can just replace that and everything is going to work otherwise I have to take it back so that's the little clip you just press on those three prongs One, two, and three. So you press it in, and then you pull down in that direction, then you'll press the next one, and then the last one pops it right out. So then I'll just stick it in here. I'm gonna try and look inside there and see if there's anything that I can clean out. Looks like there's a little cobweb or something. Just figure now would be a good time to clean it out before I hook up the electrical to it. it. Should be good to go. All cleaned out. So all we have to do is go up to this hole next to this plug. Move the plug out of the way. Just push her down in. And that's what it looks like in place. Take your electrical, plug it in. Get it in there snug and then once it's all in, the little gray clip will lock it in place. So I'm going to use my other hand, get this pushed in, lock it down. So we got that in locked in place. Now I can reinstall. There are a couple quick clips that come on this. They just slide in to these two spots here. There we go, clean it out a little bit. Radiator looks pretty good. Could probably lightly brush it, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on that today. Get that grass out of there.
Can't hurt to pull this stuff out of here while you're there. You got all this out. Maybe run a vacuum through there. Then we can put it back together. All right, we're just gonna line up our quick clips. Push that one in, line this side up. You can see when the holes are pretty much locked over or lined up with where the screws or bolts are gonna be going back in. Push it in and pretty much holds itself in place now. I just get the bolts and start threading those in. I always like to get them all started before you tighten them all down just in case one of them is not lining up right. Save you a lot of time putting them back together. If one of them doesn't line up and you can't get it in, you don't have to untighten them all. Make your adjustments once they're all put back and started, then you can lock them all down, tighten them up. And I've had the battery off now for 15 minutes, maybe 20. So by the time I get done putting this all back together on this part of it, I can put the battery back on. I'm hoping that the sensor is going to pick that up, that everything is operating again and the light will come off. check engine light that is and then uh, I'll start getting better gas mileage because that's it's really the main point of this so when it's cold like it is in Minnesota right now these should stay shut but since I have it in my heated garage they might open up for that but I don't know the whole computer system it opens and closes them based on your speed and a whole bunch of other factors all right just about got these all in I'm gonna put the last one last two bolts back in lock them down then I'll reconnect this one up top Want to make sure I do it in the right order. Don't want to mess it up because I'm filming what I'm doing. All right. All right, got all the bolts back on. I always like to go around. Once you've got everything tightened, go up to all the bolts. Just double check them. Now I hand tighten them with my hand on here because when I'm dealing with plastic. I don't want to over tighten them and crack the plastic that I just attached. Um, but go around, double check all of them because sometimes when you got black on black you might think you put one of them down and you really didn't because it's plastic and it's pushed out in their shadows. So make sure you got it locked in tight and then we can put our connection on here so just slide in here at lock in place and then push the little black clip in. We're all secured. So that's how you take off the radiator shutter assembly and reinstall it. The next step is to put the, the grill back on that we have sitting here. Now this has got this little baffle I would call it to help get it nice and secure but you can see underneath you've got your clips, your quick clips. 
So we gotta line those up on the bottom, pop those in first. We get the three on the bottom clipped in first. And then this middle section, we'll get the two side ones, pop them all on. And these little holes in here, that's actually for these clips here are gonna line up. There's a little catch on the bottom of those. And those catches go into those holes. So that's what holds it. That lets you know that you've got the top all the way pushed in. And then it's ready for those bolts to go back on the top. So I'm going to line them up. I... And remember, after you get your bolts out of the middle and the ends, there's little clips in the middle too. So you have to lift lift up on the when you have your grill on and you're trying to pull it off here, you gotta lift up on this top middle section too to to pull them out. Otherwise they stay locked in pretty tight. It's a pretty cool system they have. Alright, we're gonna push in the bottom first and work our way up. It's actually a really simple process of putting that back on. You just push and all of the clips locked in. Now I'll push it back in place. It wants to be in place. Once those other quick clips are in, it locks itself in nice and tight. So there's really not a lot of work. So now we can put the, the four bolts that go in the top back in. Put them over here. Now, once you got your bolt set, some of these may not be perfectly lined up because the quick clips went pushed in you might have to adjust it over just a little bit get all the bolts to line up properly nice part these are all Every one of the bolts that I had to take off, they're all 10 millimeter. So you don't have to go back and forth switching to different sized parts. Even the battery, when I pulled that off, those were all 10 millimeter parts. So you got that pulled off there. So this will go right back on top of there. And that's actually what sticks through. So that sticks through there. If you do need to jump your car or jump somebody else to help them out. All right, just gonna Grab my ratchet. There we go. Grill's back on. So now we just need these quick clips. Pretty neat how they just pop in. 
And then you get your starter or your stopper, whatever you want to call it. And that's going to get pushed down. I'm going to wait until I get all my all my starter plugs. Once I get those first plugs in, then I'll go ahead and put the the other ones in. What they do is they end up pushing this bottom part gets spread out and that doesn't allow it to pop back up. So we'll get all those put in and then we'll pop the other ones in, put the battery back on and test it out. So these top pieces kind of seems like it's a double wide on the one side and the other side is a single. So when I come on to my little plug starter, I'm going to put the double side towards that bigger opening. So now I've got all the plugs in, the starters are ready, and then I'm just going to push down around it and then pop it down. And now it cannot come up. So that's all it is to it to putting those back in. And the same goes for pulling them out in the first place. You just pop those straight up. Very simple. Make sure you got a nice warm place to work on these. Got one more. There we go. That part's back on. Put the battery back together. This project's done. That's how you replace your radar, radiator shutter system. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit the like button, share it. Um, Bruce McIntoon does it all.